Hey everyone, today is Spotlight Monday. I filmed this for you once. I didn't realize that a lot of what I was trying to show you was not in the shot. I do not have a weird a way to mirror my image. It's gonna take a while for me to get any kind of good video setup. So I had no idea that probably half of what I was showing you was not coming through. I had switched my bag from the Jujube Zealous in Galaxy over to this. This is a Jujube Vector in the color Jean. And I, I liked this bag and it was my favorite bag until I got the Zealous. And we went out yesterday, we went fishing, and I thought I was going to need more stuff and I thought this would hold more stuff. I ended up not liking it as much. And there are things that I like about this one better than the other one, and vice versa. And I wish that they were like a combination of, I had a combination of the two, but I don't. So I'm going to switch back over to my Zealous. And I guess I'll just get right into it because I hear people rummaging around and I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to do this. So first I'm going to show you the outside of this bag and tell you about what I like about it. I like that there's two front pockets, an upper and a lower. The tech pocket is much smaller. I've got some trash in there. Than the one in the Zealous and I liked it until I got the Zealous and realized that I liked that one better. It has huge bottle pockets. Enormous. So yesterday I actually fit this water bottle in here. Sippy cup of water. And I fit a sippy straw cup of milk in here. And yes, there's the sunglass holder holder is right here. I don't have anything in it. And then the other bottle pocket is just as big. And I was able to fit my 20 ounce Coleman water cup in here. So I love that. These are memory foam straps. And they are a lot more comfortable and they're contoured. They're a lot more comfortable than the Zealous. And this has a nice padded back, which is more comfortable than the Zealous. So overall, this bag wears more comfortably. The outside of the bag does not have stroller hooks. I don't use stroller hooks as stroller hooks. My bags are too heavy to hang on a stroller. And I've always wondered how people do that because it just tips the stroller backwards. I realize that I do have a lighter kid. He has just hit 20 pounds, but he, if he gets out or we pull him out at all, the thing's tipping over. What I like the stroller clips for is to hang my passy pod on. And then inside the bag, I have a couple of um, TY stuffed animals with hooks and I like to put that on there. So I was really upset that I could not put that on the outside of the bag. Putting the passy pod on the grab handle, excuse me, on the grab handle here, I don't like doing. So I'm gonna unpack this first. I have my chapstick holder, my passy pod. I haven't been in this in a while. I do believe there is a passy in here. Oh, there's two in there. Up here, I put my inhaler, medication, and this was already in there. It's just an extra pass seat. I'm gonna leave that in here. Going to the front pocket here. This is in front of the mommy pocket. And I'm gonna pull out my two lip stains. Nothing else in there. I really hope that I'm on the image here. And the mommy pocket is nice and big. It's huge. I love the mommy pocket in this. 
I'm gonna pull out my spare microphone. I have two hand creams. I don't know why I have two because this one, and I tried to show this to you in my previous video and I was talking about it, but you could not even see it on the screen. So I got this at either Rite Aid or Walgreens, I forget which one. And after I used it, I went back to get more and they didn't have any more. They had a different scent. Not only does this smell amazing, but it makes your hands silky smooth. And I'm gonna pull out my B-Charge. This has the insurance cards for my kiddos. A pack of gum. And then I have this little cute bag. I got it on Amazon. I don't remember the name. And in here I have my travel deodorant brush and another lip stain. So that's all I have in the mommy pocket. Turning to this bottle pocket, I believe this is the empty one. Yep, like I said, I had a 20 ounce Coleman bottle in there and it fit. And then on this side, I do have a sippy cup of water in here. All right, now we're gonna move on to the inside of the bag. This is as far as it zips. It is not a problem for me. This is a wipes container. It is packed full. I don't know how many wipes are in here, but there's a lot. In the back here, I have a large set piece, Jujube set piece from one of the core collections. They no longer make these. And in here, I have my little baby ring sling in rainbow. I also have a book back here. We just got this one. The pediatrician gives us a book at every visit and we haven't read this one. So I like to keep this with me. So it's kind of new and fresh to him. This bag does have a nice thick memory foam padded change pad. And I'm just going to leave that in there. Here we have a medium set piece in the galaxy print. And this is my medical bag. Within this, I have a small set piece and this is just infant Tylenol. Here are the two TY clippable stuffies that my little one likes to play with if there's nothing else. This is the medium set piece for the Jujubee Core. And this has some food, snacks, bib, stuff like that for the baby. I stuck a wet bag in there and I don't know if I'm going to put this in the Zealous. I rarely ever use this. And the last thing that I have in this bag is my changing quick. This is stuffed to the brim. I don't usually have it this stuffed. One of the reasons it's really stuffed right now is because I way over stuffed the wipes case. And I have four diapers in here. One, two, three, three, four. I also have a Boogie Bottoms spray diaper rash cream. This is awesome. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I have found that most people have never seen this before. A spare outfit. And this is the Jujube Galaxy change pad that comes with the Zealous and it's very, very thin. I don't mind that at all. I love that it's thin because it, sm it folds up nice and small and fits right inside my diapering quick. This is so stuffed that I actually do have to squeeze it together to zip back up there. All right, so, so like I said, it doesn't open all the way. That does not bother me. It has a nice large main compartment. Got some crumbs in there. It has four elasticized mesh pockets, two on each side. 
this compartment here, this isn't just for the change pad. You can also stick a laptop in there and a decently sized one as well. All right, now we can bring the Zealous in. All right, this is the Galaxy Zealous. And I guess I'm going to start with the inside and work my way out to pack. Looks like I have some paperwork here from my son's 15 month appointment. I'm gonna stick the book back here. This is where the changing pad was. And what I, you're not gonna see me put in there is my power bank. My power bank goes in this. This is the small set piece in the core and I'm gonna show you a comparison. This is the small. Of course, this is stuffed, but this is the medium. And then the small compared to the large. And then the large compared to the medium. So these are pretty decently sized bags. So I would normally put my flatter stuff in the back. So I would normally put my small set piece with my charging bank, but right now I'm using my charging bank to um, power my ring light. So I'm not gonna put that in there. So what I also do is I put my snacks in there. Even though this isn't flat, I know I just said I put the flat stuff back there, but I honestly, I do, I put my snacks in there. set a couple of these aside so I have more room all right there's I am gonna change something I am going to put in my medical bag the other inhaler I had out here in my medicine container let's see if I can get this to fit nice and streamline. Maybe this won't go in there. I want it to though. I don't know if I'm even on the shot. See, this is what happens. I can't see if I'm on the screen. I'm trying to be more conscious, conscientious, consci whatever, of making sure that I have to zip this with closer to my body. A little snug there so this I'm also going to stick back here because I don't grab for it very often all right now I am going to put my diaper in quick in the main compartment and my ring sling in the main compartment and this is how I usually have it I don't usually use these pockets except for like paperwork. So actually I think I can slip my wipe, my wet bag in there. I think that's all for the inside, but I'll come back to it if I need to. I just want to show you real quick how much more space I have still in there. Can you see that? When I go out with the baby, I often bring his little snack container. It's not little, actually, it's really large. And I, I sometimes will just put that right on top there. I've also been doing using an on Bohemo carrier versus a um, carrier with a waist strap. That would so easily, nicely fit right there. Oh, you know what I forgot? I've gotta stick this in. I guess that uses up a little more space, but yeah, those things would still fit. I'm gonna put his water bottle in on the side over here. And my 20 ounce bottle does fit in these as well. Not as nicely as the other bag, but they still fit. Okay, let's see here. I put this just slipped right in here as my microphone. 
this little bag I always slip in here. My two hand creams. I'll probably take this one out when I'm in the car next and just put it in my car for easy grab use. And my gum. I was putting my lip stains here, but I think I'm going to move them and put them here. And then I'm going to use the, put the Be Charged back here instead. Okay, that is all set. And now I'm going to put on my little clippy thingies. See, this is the stroller hook. I usually put one of these on each side, but I think I'm gonna put both of them on this side this time. And then I'm gonna put the passy clip with the chapstick over here. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. I don't know if I'm in the shot. Yeah, okay. Pretty much in the shot there, guys. All right. This is Camp Toki, by the way. I love this print, and I kind of wish I had gotten another bag in this print. I have the Super V in this print, but I don't use Super V all that much. I usually use it to transport Tucker's toys. All right, so that's it. Feels nice. Oh, I wanted to show you this tech pocket is huge. See that? And I usually put my phone, which I'm filming with right now, and my keys in here. Sometimes I will put my power bank in here when I'm trying to charge and I want easy, fast access. And that all fits. And then just for, I showed you the other one, so I want to show you these are these are not uncomfortable. It's just that the other one is is more comfortable, if that makes sense. So these are just a thin padded, lightly padded material, and there's no padded backing here. But overall, I think I do like this bag better, and some of that might be because it's purple and it's galaxy, and that's just the kind of stuff that I like. Supposedly, Jujubee has this listed as a gender neutral pattern, and I have not met a single person that agrees with that, but I still love it. All right, guys, that's it for Spotlight Monday. I hope I actually got decent viewing for you this time. I've actually tried to do a video, a packing video like this multiple times, and every single time you cannot see the bag or you can see some parts, but not others. And that is so frustrating. I'm using my new tripod. My complaint with this tripod is that it does not tilt the phone down right. So right now the phone is tilted down as far as it will go and it's not like clipped to the access ball. It's just hanging on and if I bump it, it will fall off. So, so far, that is my only complaint about this tripod and I'm using a ring, ring light and I would love to see what that looks like when I start editing to see if it helps at all. I don't think it's enough light still, so I'm going to have to invest in probably a large one so that the lighting is better. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please uh, subscribe. I do Spotlight Mondays every Monday on some kind of product that speaks to more so for moms and babies. Not so much for dads. Sorry guys. And then Fridays I do unboxings. I just show you all the different things that I and my husband have ordered throughout the week. I open them for you and just show them to you. And I've been vlogging life with having to do social distancing. Catch you later.